Hey art friends, today we're doing a realistic drawing and it's going to be of a cool robin bird. Tweet. Alright checkers, got your marker? Yeah. I hope you guys are going to follow along with us. If we go too fast, they can always... Pause the video. Yes, pause the video. Alright dude, you ready for the first step? Yeah. We're going to start with his eye. Okay, we're going to just do a little circle. It's going to be almost in the middle of the paper. And we'll draw a really teeny. Good job, man. And then we can kind of fill that in, but leave a little white in the top right of his eye. Yeah. Good job. And now kind of like our other birds that we've done, we can do a little, a little V just to the left of it. That's going to be the start of his beak. Good job. And then let's come out. We can do his beak, do another V, but a little bit longer. There we go. Now if you have a sharp pen or a pencil, you could draw another line in there for his mouth to separate the top and bottom of his mouth, but I'm going to leave it just like that. Okay, so let's keep going. Let's draw his head. So we're going to do a big U shape that goes over the top of his head like that. We're going to come down a little further past his, almost past his beak. See how that's further down. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Now let's do his belly and they've got nice round bellies. <laughs> we're going to come down. We'll kind of come in just a little bit and then we're going to do the big belly. There we go. And this is an American Robin. And so their heads are a dark brown and then their bellies are red, but there's another type of Robin that their faces are red. So we're going to do that American, American Robin. Okay, now let's draw his feathers on the other side. Well, let's draw the top. We'll draw his neck right here. So we'll do a little line that comes across. Good. And then we're going to come back with his wing. So we're going to do a line that comes down and out. Almost like the same shape. Good job. Okay, and then let's finish the back. So we'll come down. And I'm going to stop a little early. <laughs> Good job, man. And then we're going to come back up like this. Good. And then we'll come back over here and finish his wing. So this is kind of the top layer of his wing, but this is, this is his whole wing. Okay, now we can do, um, we we'll finish this coming into his, into his wing right here. And then let's draw his tail. Draw a big line that comes down. And it kind of curves too. Good. And then on this, we're going to come right out of his wing and we'll kind of curve up. Good job. And then let's connect those two lines. A little curve. Perfect. Good job, man. Okay, now let's draw, let's draw some details on his wings. So we can come up here and let's draw, we'll draw little U's that kind of connect to each other like that. Good job. And then let's draw some bigger wing, uh, bigger feathers. So little U shapes that are taller and they're connected. Yeah, good job. Okay, and then we can draw little lines here. And then let's finish his wing by doing little lines like this. Yes. Good job, man. It looks super awesome. Okay, now he's got a little design over his eye. So we're going to do, um, we'll do a line that comes out of his eye and then out the back of his eye. Good. And then we can kind of connect 
We'll connect the top like that, and then we can connect the bottom too. It looks like a Pokemon ball. <laughs> it does. Totally looks like a Pokemon ball. <laughs> so that's going to be white, and then we're going to do a dark brown for his head. All right, so now let's do the branch that he's going to be standing on, okay? So we'll do, um, we'll do a, a, a kind of a jagged line that comes down close to his belly, and then we can curve down like that into the bottom of their paper. Good job. And then we're going to make this branch kind of thick. So this line is going to go with it. See how I'm kind of going this, doing this same exact line and ending down at the bottom. This is a lot like our Blue Jay, huh? Mm -hmm. that, that was a lot of fun doing that Blue Jay. Good job. Perfect. Okay, now let's do his legs. So we'll do his first foot and it's gonna be really small. So we'll just do a, um, a thick black line and then we can do his toes that come out over the branch. And I'm gonna do another toe right next to it. And then I'm gonna put another toe off to the back. Good job, and we can do one more on here. And I'm just doing a thick, thick lines. Okay, now let's do his second leg. And this one's gonna be a little bit longer and it's gonna come down like he's trying to balance on this branch. And then we can do his toes that wrap over the branch, just like we did on the first one. And I'm gonna put a little, try to make it look like a little toe going behind. That looks really cool, dude. Hey, now let's draw some cool things on this branch. So we'll do another branch that comes up here. And then we can also, we can do another branch right, or another line right next to it to make the branch look a little thicker. And then let's do the same down here. And I'm just having it kind of go off the page. See how it looks like it's going towards the edge of the paper and then just kind of ends. And I think that's a cool way to do these branches. And I'm gonna do another one over here. And you can really make these branches do anything, right? You don't have to follow exactly what I'm doing because it's nature, right? Yeah. And that does whatever it wants to. I'm going to do another branch that kind of comes off this way. Okay, now I'm going to add some berries. And I'm just going to do a bunch of circles kind of all over. Good job, checkers. I love how your robin looks, but we got to color them because it looks really awesome when we color. And we're going to do a lot of shading with this one. Kay. We're going to use colored pencils instead of oil pastels this time. Kay. Should we pick out our colors? Yeah. Okay. All right, checkers, we got our colors all picked out. Now we're using Prismacolor pencils, and we're using them from the 48 set. And I believe all of these colors are in there, but it's possible they're not because we have some other colored pencils. But uh, in the 48 set, it comes with a lot of colors. So our art friends should be able to find similar colors that we're using. And if they don't, that's okay. If you're using other uh, colored pencils, just try to pick out the colors that we're using. So we've got two yellows. This one's a yellow orange. This one's gonna be a darker orange. And then this is what we're gonna use for the beak. Yeah, Spanish orange. And we also have two browns. This one's burnt, uh, or sorry, dark umber. And that's a dark brown. This is a light brown, it's called burnt ochre. And then we have a red, crimson red, so this is a pretty dark red, and then we're using black. Hey, okay, first step, you ready to start? Yeah. We're gonna do his belly first, and it's gonna look super neat. So we're gonna take our red, and we're just gonna put a light uh, layer down. So when we do this, we're not gonna press very hard, and you can see a lot of the texture from the paper, and then also the, the uh, white from the paper showing through. Okay? Okay. Okay, now after this step, I'm going to do another layer on top of it, and I want his belly, the bottom part of his belly, to be darker and more red. And then as it goes up to the top, we're gonna get 
brighter and use and it's going to look a little more orange okay Kay. so you want to copy what i just did yeah good job chuggers okay now we're going to take the dark brown or the dark umber and we're going to shade even darker under his belly and we're going to start right here right under his wings and we want this to look like it's going in in the shadow of under his body and so see how we start really dark and then as we get closer to where the light would be shining we get brighter or press lighter okay. see how that blends right into the red mm -hmm. Is that cool yeah okay you want to do it mm -hmm. exactly like that dude that looks so awesome okay now we're gonna get our orange and this is really called a uh, yellowed orange. So it's more orange, but with a little yellow tint to it. And we're gonna do a heavy layer on top of everything that we just did. And look how it makes the colors look even richer. And as it gets to the top, it's gonna be even more orange because we pressed really light with that red. See how it's more orange at the top? Yeah. And then because we pressed really hard with the red down at the bottom, it looks more red down here. And if we go over the brown, it just smooths it out and gets rid of that paper texture, but it still looks really dark. That looked neat. Yeah. Yeah. You want to do yours? Mm -hmm. Okay. Chuckers, that looks really good. Now, look how awesome that shades, man. It starts orange, it gets red, and then it gets really dark under here. It looks super 3D. Yeah. I like how round his belly looks. <laughs> looks like he just ate a bunch of berries. <laughs> All right, okay, now let's finish his body. So we're going to start with that dark, uh, the uh, dark umber again. And we're going to just shade in his tail super dark because it's in the shadow. Good job, dude. All right. Okay, now we're going to do this head and we're going to start working down his wing. So we're going to do a really light layer that is just under kind of where his neck is and it's going to come up his head. So like that. So we got the kind of this little round, you see that little round uh, curve on yeah. his head. And then we're going to come down his shoulder and we want it to look like there's some light on his shining down on the top of his shoulder and hitting right there. So we're not going to we're not going to color that in very dark. And we're going to come down his wing and do the same thing, but we're going to color in some of this a little bit darker later. Okay. Okay, you want to do that? Mm -hmm. Awesome chuckers. Okay, now we're going to finish his head. So we're going to do a dark layer on top and almost colored in solid, you can leave a little of that white paper texture coming through and then it's gonna look like feathers, right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna fill this in and then his eye won't look as funny because it's that white kind of pattern that we have on there. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like a Pokeball anymore. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna fill in that head, fill it in almost solid and there we go. So we got his head finished and we can kind of blend it down a little more into his shoulder. So we can soften that edge. And then I'm gonna come down here and I'm also gonna put kind of a dark shadow right here on that first layer. And then I'm gonna do another dark shadow under the second row of feathers like that. Nice, okay, now the next step is I'm gonna put a little shadow on each of these feathers and just darken them a little more because I think they're a little too bright. And we'll put a shadow kind of on each, each feather. Good, man. Okay, now we're going to use this light brown, and I'm just going to go lightly over some of the feathers so we put a little more orange into his wing colors. This is going to make him look a little brighter and not as dull. Okay.
Okay, now while you're also doing that, I'm gonna start working on the branch. And we're gonna do the same thing that we did on his body. We're gonna do, we're gonna use the dark brown and we're gonna just do a light layer over the whole thing. Okay, and then after that light layer, I'm gonna come back in and I'm gonna shade one side of the branch. And I'm gonna do the left side so it looks like there's light shining down on it. Okay, you wanna do that? Yeah. And then while you're doing that, I'm gonna use the light brown and I'm gonna go back over that branch. Good job, checkers. It's looking amazing. I'm going to go to the next step. Okay. And I'm going to use red, our dark crimson red, and I'm going to color in the little berries, but I'm going to color in everything except for a little highlight on the berries so they look shiny. That looks pretty neat, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice work, checkers. Okay, the last step. Well, second to last step, we're gonna use our yellow. Uh, what is this called? Spanish orange. And we're gonna just color in his beak. So it's nice and bright. And then the last step we're gonna do is we're gonna use the black. And we're gonna make the shadows just look a little bit darker. So we can come back in here under his tail and add a little black. See how it gets just a little darker and we can also come up here and add a shadow for his wing. And then we can just add a little darkness under his belly, like that. Maybe a little black up by his beak. And we're done. You wanna do yours? Good job, Chuckers. I really like that. You put a line in his beak, huh? Mm -hmm. We didn't do that with the marker because our marker is kind of too thick, but with the colored pencil, we can get it in there. That looks awesome. That was such a good idea. Glad you thought of it. Chuckers, good job, man. He looks very realistic. I love doing these realistic birds like our blue jay and our robin turned out awesome too. It's okay that our drawings look different, right? Yeah. The most important thing is to have fun. Yes, to have fun. And we hope you guys had a lot of fun drawing your robins too. Be sure to take a picture because we want to see how awesome they turned out. Send it to us. What's our email address, weirdo? Meyer at Art for Kids Hub. Yeah. <laughs> Meyer at Art for Kids Hub. <laughs> Remember to always ask for a parent or adult's permission before you send us anything, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye.